A controversial $850 million mine on the York Peninsula has been given the go-ahead. The hillside mine, south of Ardrossan, will create hundreds of jobs and return tens of millions to the local economy. But locals say prime agricultural land will be destroyed. It's said to be one of Australia's biggest open cut and underground mines pumping $30 million a year into the state economy. All of a sudden you've got, uh, let's face it, people working in the mining industry who do quite well out of it, uh, living locally, spending more money. The state government has granted Rex Minerals a 15-year lease over the hillside mine near Ardrossan on the York Peninsula. The company hopes to tap into 75,000 tonnes of copper, 60,000 ounces of gold and 1.2 million tonnes of iron ore. 700 jobs will be created during construction before steadying to 500 full-time positions. We're doing the right thing by South Australia and we're doing the right thing by York Peninsula. You know, I believe there's a silent majority that will welcome this mine and welcome the jobs that it brings. But there'll also be disadvantages. There will be noise impacts, there will be some dust impacts, there will be visual impacts, but we're going to manage those impacts. Locals are outraged and the Greens say prime agricultural land will be destroyed for financial gain. It makes no sense to sterilise forever land that could be productive for growing food for hundreds or thousands of years. If Rex Minerals accepts the lease, it'll have to meet almost 100 conditions, which the government says will strike a balance between encouraging development and protecting the environment. But the project will still be met with opposition. And I've got no doubt the local farmers will not take this lying down. Well, live now to Caroline Morano. And Caroline, what do the local farmers have planned? Good evening. Well, Rex Minerals has 21 days to respond to this lease offer, but until then, local landowners will be putting up a fight. Come Saturday, hundreds will converge here on the steps of Parliament House to rally against that mine. The rally is expected to kick off at 10am before they march onto Victoria Square. Back to you. Thank you, Caroline.